Nothing like a parade to get out the community on Main Street. The Sunday of Great Cow Harbor Day weekend fills Main Street in Northport. Americana at its best. The day before, lots of happy heartbeats as well. To the starting line of the 43rd Great Cow Harbor 10K, one of the top road races in the Northeast. Elites on the line for the first wave. Not everyone is chasing prize money. A little wiggle, guys. A little wiggle. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Cal Auburn is special. It's, it's basically a community race, but we also attract elite runners. The community gets involved in it. The volunteers, they come out to watch it. It's a, it's a big event for the village. Beneficiary is Special Olympics, uh, and we also contribute to local uh, community uh, funds. We're here to continue to support a local community. It's very important for us to be very visible and active in the communities where we live, work, and serve. Three, two, one. Yes, here we go! 2021 Great Cow Harbor Race is on the way! The first wave, the elite wave, is off. Many waves to follow, 13 in all, allowing for an orderly race experience. Once the big kids are gone, the real kids get their chance to shine in the 2K. One speed suits all, flat out. Up to the lead woman, it's Erica Kemp in the blue, and a step behind, Stephanie Bruce, a road racing veteran. She was second here in 2010. Out front, it's Tim McGowan in the blue, defending champion Fatsum Ziensalezi, and in the cap, Kyra Dandena. The crowds begin to build at the finish line. Everyone seems to know someone in the race, and they are ready with a special welcome. Erica Camp has opened up a slight gap on Stephanie Bruce. Erica is at the top of her game with a major road race win at the New Haven 20K just a few weeks earlier. There are rolling hills on the Cal Harbor course, making it one of the toughest elite 10Ks in the East. The men's race is down to three. Tim McGowan on the inside, Patsum Ziena Salasi closest to the camera, and Kyra Dendena. First-class volunteers await at the finish line, and they don't have to wait long. Patsum Ziana Selassie is the first to be welcomed by the surging finish line crowd. He is across in 29.52 for a $5,000 payday. In second, 15 seconds back, is Kaya Bandena. Then in third, Tim McGowan. On the women's side, Erica Kemp has the final stretch all to herself. Across in 32-18, a new course record. $5,000 for the win and a bonus $5,000 for the record. Stephanie Bruce in second, 18 seconds back. Whenever I was going to make a move, I wanted to be an all-out move where from there there's no going back. So, yeah, when I made that last move, it was about as how hard can I run that last mile? Yeah, the crowd, I still wasn't quite sure if I was within range of the record yet, but I could hear everyone cheering and I was coming downhill and I could finally see the finish. And then I could hear all like the race volunteers saying you're gonna get it. So that last like 60 seconds was very enjoyable. <laughs> the finish line is as festive as any in the sport. Northwell Health and Huntington Hospital are committed to raising the health of our community. Social determinants of health play a role even larger than all the medicines and surgeries that we can perform. So promoting healthy lifestyle, like exercise, 
is one of the best things we could do for our community. Doesn't matter your finish time, the crowd will give you a warm welcome. The Great Cal Harbor 10K and Great Cal Harbor Day weekend, keeping the spirit of America alive and well.